Welcome to this lecture where we're going to look at uh, the instruments that you need. So since this is a drawing course, of course, what you need is some pencils. You need a couple of pencils. The most basic uh, pencils you need are a 2H or an H pencil. The H pencil here will help you make dark lines. And then you also need a lighter pencil. 6H that will help you make construction lines. By make I mean drawing. The other things you need, of course, these pencils will often stop being sharp after you draw with them for a while. So you need a, a sharpener. Additionally, uh, well, after you sharpen your pencils, I, will, I, I usually recommend that you use a razor blade. So you might also need a razor blade. So that after you sharpen, you make sure your tip is nicely sharp. As you can see, my tip there is, is looking great. And then, apart from that, you need a compass. There, there are various compasses that you can, you can find. This one here is one that comes with a set that looks like this. So here there are two sets of compass there's a smaller one and then there's this other bigger one when you're trying to choose a, a compass for drawing make sure it's not very easily moving here at this joint it should be a bit stiff that's what will be your priority if it gets loose what you can do is these screws that are here can be tightened you can find a screwdriver that can fit and then tighten after that of course you need a rubber a rubber will help you a lot and then you need some rulers this here is a 3060 set square it's called a 3060 set square because it's got a 30 degree and a 60 degree here for the set squares this corner that you always see here is 90 if you look both this other one here and this one here have got this angle that is kind of similar you can see if i pair them up together they match like that but their angles on the others on the other corners are different so the set square where you have 45 degrees here and on this side it's called the 45 set square the other one here is called the 3060 this one is 30 degrees this other one is 60 when you rotate it you can see the variation the 60 is now on our left the 30 is on our right these are very important uh, rules that you need to have these are called set squares. The next thing you need are some clips to hold your paper when you're drawing. You can use one clip if maybe you are drawing on an A4 paper to be able to hold your work tight. But maybe if you're working on uh, sizes of paper that are bigger, maybe A3, A2, you might need two or even three clips. The next thing that you need is a uh, a T square. You can see it starts from zero here up to sixty, which is a very long ruler. The T square is made in such a way that if I'm drawing, I can make the edge of my board. As you can see here, this is the edge of my board. I can slide the T square, and then all the angles that all the lines that are, I'll, be, I'll be drawing with this edge here are going to be at 90 degrees with the left edge of the drawing board. Simply put, if I have a paper that I place on my drawing board like this, if I place it well enough, I can draw lines here that are always going to be parallel to each other. In further lessons we're going to talk about how we can use the t-square these are the basic instruments that you need you need pencils 
a sharpener, a rubber, a razor blade, a compass, a pair of set squares, a T square option. A T square is optional, but if you want a full drawing set, you need a T square. And if you'll be using a T square like this, you obviously need a drawing board. So a drawing board is just a special kind of board that is used for for technical drawing. You can see this here is is my board. On screen, you see the better picture of it. And that's it for the instruments that you need.